log off, shut down, and get outside at Governor Bebb Metro Park. Hi, thanks for joining us for today's creaking program. Today we're out at Governor Bebb Metro Park. My name's Lynn White. I'm the Education and Volunteer Specialist for Butler Asylum Water. And my name is Becky Vanderpool. I'm the Senior Manager of Park Connections with Metro Parks of Butler County. We're glad you're here today and hope that you'll join us while we spend time in the creek today and hopefully come back out on your own and do the same. So we're going to show you some different habitats and some creatures that we find. Come join this us. This is Little Dry Run at Governor Bebb Metro Park. And we're going to look in the main channel, but we're also going to go and look in the backwater area that's over next to Becky. It's a great place for finding frogs and snakes and all sorts of creatures. These backwater areas are great for things like tiny fish and small frogs because there's no predators like large fish that can make their way back here to eat them. Take a look at this close up here of all the small tiny little fish swimming around in the water. Don't just look for life in the creek, look around you as well. On this dead tree, there's a whole bunch of different kinds of fungus growing. Use more than just your sense of sight while you're creaking. In the backwater area, we did hear what was probably the sound of a frog jumping from the bank into the water. We did not catch a glimpse of him though. Then, while out in the main channel, we were lucky enough to get to see multiple tadpoles swimming in the water along with these little fish. Can you spot them? I think I saw three or four in this video alone and many more at my feet while we were out in the water. With my net and this food container that I brought from home, I was able to catch one of the tadpoles so we all could get a closer look. Looking upstream, there's a deep pool followed by another riffle area. So pools and riffles are different kinds of habitat where you can expect to find different animals. So here's the riffle area in this creek where there's lots of flowing water with lots of oxygen. So it's a great place to gently lift up rocks, look on the underside, but remember to put the rock back down the same side facing down as was there originally. You might find jelly dots on the bottom of rocks like these. They're not always in a group like this, sometimes they're individual. And they're eggs that come from lots of different creatures like salamanders, snails, frogs, and lots of different flies. These eggs, however, I think belong to a darter, which is a small fish. Can you see the bubble just to the top left of the leaf on the bottom of this rock? We're not sure what kind, but it is eggs of some sort. Does anybody know? So once again, thank you for being here with us today. Just a gentle reminder when you're out creaking is sometimes it takes patience. We found things um, that we could see in the water but ne couldn't necessarily catch today. Or we are things that we expected to see in the creek here today that we did not. You just never know what you're going to find when you're out in the water. But it's important to remember that finding some patience just to stand still and observe the ground around you, sometimes it results in things that you didn't expect. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Visit our website so you can find out more about other creatures that you can find in many locations across the county. And more ways to log off, shut down, and get outside at yourmetroparks.net and butlerswcd.org. Thank you. Bye. Once again, tomorrow is Friday. You know what that means. Join us for Family Fun Friday. Thanks.